Metropolitan has innovated in the past, is innovating now, and will innovate in the future. The cities of the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California have set underway the mighty task of bringing a portion of the Colorado River across these 300 miles of mountain and desert country to supply the increasing needs of our cities on the coastal plain. When it comes to innovation here, I have found no walls. Um, they've never put any boundaries on me. Science is constantly changing. That's the nature of it. And we try and approach it, metropolitan, in such a way that we can stay ahead of things before they become issues. Today, we're not just breaking through a mountain, we're breaking through to the future. What's the next way that we can treat water? What's the better way that we can convey water? Part of that is we have to be innovative. We have to think outside the box. Water district officials pushed the plunger, breaking ground for the state's most ambitious water project in 30 years. There are a lot of opportunities, and it's just sometimes it just takes someone's eye or imagination to see how it can lend itself to other areas. So a lot of what we do is not necessarily taking new technologies, but taking innovative technologies that have already been developed, for example, in the clinical world, and seeing if we can bring it into uh, the water industry and apply it here. The new technology, we use a handheld device for instantaneous water quality data. This is extremely important for our staff and managers to see real time. I think innovation is a part of our everyday job here. We're a group of problem solvers. Innovation and new technology allows us to reach out to students and to people in a whole different, unique way that engages them. We have over 125,000 pieces of equipment that we operate and maintain. Our workforce is aging, our infrastructure is aging, and the drumbeat of climate change is at our doorstep. So Metropolitan cannot afford not to innovate.